Hood spends his nights on the cabin's balcony, drinking through the three-year supply of liquor, looking out over a forest whose branches are laced with a bioluminescent fungus. Hood says he thinks it's pretty in a way, but it unsettles Saren. The glow makes it feel as if there's something electrical about the trees, as if Cortana might have access to Rossbach's world after all. One night, about a week into their stay at the cabin, while Orzel is out on one of his endless patrols, Hood takes time away from drinking on the balcony to step inside. Saren can see the nearly drained whiskey bottle sitting on the rail behind him, a bottle that was full earlier in the day. Do you think this is all my fault? Hood asks. If I'd forced 117 to take leave after his encounter on Requiem, you did. The Master Chief disobeyed your orders, and then he disobeyed everyone else's. Except hers. This isn't your fault, Terence. Hood grunts, then goes back outside to his bottle. He's read Beebe's reports, and he's looked at the data coming back from the probes. Saren watches him drink and wonders if he may have hit on the only logical response to any of this.